Hey everybody, Chris Fraud here. Welcome back to Enemy Within. We need to send the Sky Ranger out to this crashed UFO. It's a large scout, which means plenty of materials, hopefully. And, uh, good opportunity for some of our lower rank guys to get some action here. So we are bringing out, uh, two rookies, rookie Avery and Hanyadi. And I think our loadouts look pretty good. Let's just rock and roll. I like to call these these small UFOs like training missions for the rookies. I think this is the best way to get them experience instead of bringing them out on like high profile get missions. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Operation Red the Hydra. UFO is in a remote area outside a small town. Remote area outside a small town, which means probably some buildings. Or maybe we'll just be in a yeah, okay. Sky, Never mind. We're just north of the crash site. Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor it's those readings huge. from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Okay. Let's uh let's start getting into position here. I'm gonna try to just have everybody move up. One thing I'm gonna really focus on here is trying to get the the rookies into the best spots possible to get kills. We have the Titan armor now, which is huge. That's like, everybody becomes just that much more survivable. Heading there now. And I have to remember that Tufson is the one that does not have snapshot. So she is our squad site sniper. But what's great about her is that half cover now counts as full cover. So, uh oh, we're dealing with we're dealing with something big. I think I know exactly what I just heard, and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Ah, uh, Jesus. That's affirmative. I don't like what I heard. If you guys don't know what you heard, right there, I think we may have heard a cyber disc. And if that's the case, that's really unfortunate. And we also, after this move, we're not going to want to keep people bunched together because they have grenades, which is super dangerous. So I may want to consider Moving to position. blowing it up ASAP. We have so many grenades and explosives in general with Shang. Oh, what the hell? What was that? I don't like that spot. We got meld this way. Oh, there it is. Let's go for the meld. Let's go for the meld. Let's see how close we can get. Oh, there it is. Oh. Okay, that's not bad. I really, I don't mind them. Plus I have, uh, I have the battle scanners. So, I think we're gonna be okay here. Okay. I'm gonna group everyone up, see if they attack us, and then if they don't... Moving to position. I'll drop a battle scanner on I'm them. On the move. Actually, I may even just drop the battle scanner now. Just to protect us. I'm gonna throw it here. So that we can get to the meld. Eyes open. Now where are they? There they are. Check that out. How cool is that? Okay. That's huge. 58% or I can do four damage with grenades. But I'm only going to hit one of them. That's kind of a bummer. Let's just Oh, nice. No longer a threat. Zhang is such a monster. Let's see. Okay, rookie. I don't think you're going to kill it in one. I mean, it's possible. It's a low percentage to hit, but if you do hit... Yeah. I'm not putting you in the best position for success, I understand. Okay, EJ, how about you? Nope, not even close. Okay. 
That'll work. We have one more shot. Now, do I take the 55 or do I take two at 40%? Or do I run and gun and get right underneath him? I think that's what I'm going to do. Take the best of both worlds. 262s. Or 177. Jesus, that is a tough call. I'm actually, I'm going to switch to the laser pistol because it saves some ammo. Take it. Uh. Okay. So, battle scanners are awesome. First time I've gotten to use that in that type of context. EJ, um, grab the meld. Let's get everybody up here. It's kind of a... I don't want to call it a waste. We probably could have overwatched and been just as safe, but, um... That's it's a tough call. I understand. And I typically don't use battle scanners as much as I should. So, uh, in a way, that's kind of forcing me to use them in a way that's going to be, uh... more beneficial. People have still been asking me, how do I overwatch so quickly? And I just have it hotkeyed to V, so, um, hopefully that helps. There it is. Shoot the big one, please. Alright. This has me a bit concerned because we heard noises off to our left, and that wasn't these guys. He overwatched, really? Really, Cyberdisc? Enemy is still alive. That is such a crappy move on your part. Hmm. Do I just want to blow them up? Or, what other options do I have? It's really my only option because if I don't. If I don't blow them up. Like, we can't move because he's overwatched. Actually, I can move. What am I talking about? Where's Raidry? I could try and draw the overwatch here. Let's do that. Opens up our options. God, lightning reflexes is good. Gives us, uh, 75% on the big guy. I like that a lot. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna Shredder Rocket them. Ready for the and then hopefully the rest of the guys can clean that up. Because they'll take more damage now. Because, because they've been shredded. Let's see. Do I want to go on the cyber disc? Probably. I got 85 on the cyber disc or 270s. Let's do this. One more, Ragery. Close. Very close. Okay, rookies. This is your chance. Come on now. Oh, EJ. God damn. Do I want to just leave you in the open? Not really. Let's go from here. Nice. Taking down a cyber disc for your first kill, that's pretty cool, I gotta say. We have two more shots. I only have one shot with Gussie, so let's take this. Looks good. That works. And then Green, who I think I'm just gonna get in there. 
52%. Probably a miss. Yep. But that's okay. These guys can't do a ton of damage. Oh, damn it. At least this came at the end of the turn. Where's he going? Okay. Okay. We're in an okay spot to deal with this. We're gonna have to use more rockets though. This should take care of it. Don't miss. That blows their cover, does a ton of damage. Now where are the rookies? I'm gonna have to risk keeping them out of cover, but it's a calculated risk, I think. Oh my god. Zero cargas. Pierda, no puede ser. 55%. You did it last time. You do two in a row, EJ? Well, it's asking a bit much, I guess. Alright, should be able to finish off one of these, at least. Ragery can finish one. Green can hopefully finish this one. And then Tustin can probably finish the other. Hundred percent. There it is. Back on deck. And just in case, I'm going to take the critical because I don't want to risk her just miffing a four-point shot or something. And I don't know if I have any ammo to shoot this. I sure don't. Well, let's get out there and see if we can intimidate it into not coming after us. Flamethrower won't do anything against it, so I'm just going to reload. Maybe it'll just keep running. It knows it's toast, so yeah, it's going to just take off. Let's see if we can knock it down here. 75%. Okay. So far, so good. Um, the rookies are kind of hit and miss. I think Hanyadi got a kill. Was it Hanyadi or was it the other one? I can't remember. As you wish. I am reloading. And Spencer. Take full cover on the tree, I guess. I love when he puts his hand up like that. Everyone take note. We have a meld. 12 o'clock. I guess it would be like 11 o'clock. Now, this is a bit risky because we don't Position have a lot of good cover. So, I'm going to have to advance as a group, I think. I'm really happy that we handled the cyber disc in the way that we did. Because things could have went drastically different. I'm watching for them. I'm ready. Okay. One thing I'm thinking about back at base is that I would like to get a foundry up and going. Apparently, some really good upgrades in there that you guys have been telling me about. Got it. Specifically, the one that sounds interesting is where everybody can carry two items. That sounds awesome. So, in addition to, like, a support being able to carry extra, um... They can carry, like, three things, maybe? That would be pretty cool. Oh, hello. Okay. Ships that way. Look at 
before. I'm on the move. We definitely need cover now. In theory, yes, I could keep Tufson back here. Aye, aye. But I think we're going to keep pressing forward until we find something, and then we can make a decision on that. Hey. Oh, we lost the second meld. That's okay. Oh, it was way over there. Look at that. That's a tough one. If I can get everybody here, that would be nice. I'll get Shajui Zhang on the full cover. That looks like good rocket potential. Actually, he's out of rockets, isn't he? Pretty sure he is out of rockets. Ten four. That counts as full cover for our sniper. Flushes. And then Gruff. And, and Hyundai. Hyundai. Hanyadi. <laughs> can move up by the mech. All right, let's keep pressing. We're gonna find this guy, and I know where we're gonna find him. Okay. Yeah, Pucci. Okay, Vic. Got on the side. I'll be watching. I'll be watching. I'll be watching. It does actually. There's not even a huge point in keeping our heavy way back here because uh, we're out of rockets with him, and we have grenades, so we kind of want to be in close. Is this part of the wall? Oh, that part of the wall's busted. Affirmative. Moving out. So I want to keep this closed until I say I want to stay away from revealing anything over there. Although it looks like we might have a bit of navigation to do once we're inside. All right, Hanyadi, do the honors. All right, it is quiet in here. It's a little too quiet. But that really does limit the options as to where they could be, so... What I want to do is stack up on both doors. I'm pretty sure they lead to the same place. Let's just see here. Oh, maybe not. They actually don't lead to one big open area. Let's go left. I'm on the move. Hey, Okay. Ragery, I know you like stacking up, so let's do that for you. I am ready to go. And we'll bring everybody in behind in the flying V formation. Location confirmed. One of the strongest formations in both military and hockey. As evidenced by the Mighty Ducks movie in the 1990s, I think. Emilio Estevez? Anybody? Oh, come on. Look out. More stacking. Going there now. I'm pretty confident that this is the right way to breach. Um, it's always kind of a tough call. And what I might do is keep our sniper back here. So that's full cover for her. I'm watching for him. Oh yeah, for sure we're gonna find something now. That?
Come on. Hello. There it is. And see, now we put ourselves in such a strong position to actually kill this thing. He might actually just take him out right here. Yep. Don't come too close to Ragery. Chalk up another one. Tried to warn you. <laughs> that was awesome. Let's see if the rookies got promoted. I'm hoping they did. One got a kill on a sectopod. Nice. Not only did our troops return safely, but the meld they recovered will certainly advance our development of new technologies based on this substance. Thanks, Chen. First of all, uh, Spencer Avery, congratulations. You were the one that got the kill up there. Nice hair, too. Very fashionable. Uh, smoke grenade is very welcomed, and so is another support. We now have a fully leveled up mech. This is cool. So. Any hit that does more damage than 33% of the mech's maximum health is reduced to that number. Uh, that sounds pretty good. Gets a free shot back at the first enemy who attacks the mech each turn, provided there's enough ammo. That's also pretty good, but this... Any hit that does more than a third of the damage... ...of the mech's maximum health is reduced to that number. So basically, he can only be damaged for a third? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You just became even more awesome. Very cool. Metal- <laughs> I forgot about this one. The Medal of Metal Balls. Oh, nice. Ah, uh, we got a bunch of stuff. It's like new toys. Very exciting. Okay, so let's award the medal. We can give- oh, I have another medal too, Defense of the Ancients. Plus five defense and cover. Let's give this to... Hmm. Let's give this to... Bieber. Like, look at that hairstyle. Beautiful. And then we also have Medal of Metal Balls. 10 aim and critical chance if not within... Yeah, right. So, this one we kind of wanted to give to somebody that was all alone. I guess it might be good on a sniper. It might be good on a sniper. Let's give it to Tufson. You just got the Medal of Metal Balls. Which I looked at is having somebody up close and personal, but uh, back, like kind of hanging back could also work. Now, what else do we need to be doing here? Do we have Phoenix Cannons? Yes, I do. Let's get that up and running on everything. I know these aren't the best weapons, but that's all we have right now. So I kind of have to deal with it. I do have money for once. We've got a workshop going. We're excavating this to build a science lab, I think, is what I said. We're going to build a, an uplink here. And then we're going to build another thermo generator. Which, actually, I might just do that in one day, if we make it one day. Perfect. Let's get the thermo generator up and running. And then we're holding on to this spot for the satellite uplink once the workshop is done. So I can't use any more power because if I do, I'm not gonna have enough for that and I need to get that out this month. Commander, we have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. Oh, well, it's not much of a choice. Well, I guess it is, because either way, both of these are going to go to panic situations. Uh, Russia or Germany. The thing is, engineers-wise, I'm going to have more than I need. And after I build that uplink, how much does a satellite nexus cost? 35. But I'm going to get 
five from these guys. Which would put me at 33. Plus another four would be 37. But I'll probably get two more once the month rolls over. So I don't know if I need the engineers. That's the only thing. I don't actually think I do. It's Germany or Russia, right? I mean, they're both in the same continent, so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Does it? I don't know if it does. Let's, um... Because it, it doesn't it work where if you take the abduction, it reduces the panic in in that continent? I'm pretty sure it does. And I'd rather have the money. So I'm going to do it. Uh, Avery, good job on the promotion. You now get to wear the whites. Which is really cool. I wish you could pick accent colors. I know that sounds like really weird that I would say that, but just more customization all the time is good. And Yadi, you're gonna come out again. Um, I should probably get another mech going. I really should. I kind of want to see how his ability works though, so we'll bring him out. We still need to get up to kernels with these three, but... Wait a second. Let's actually do this. Covert Ops. Let's do an intel scan. Positive identification confirmed. Exalt cell location verified. So, we know there's an exalt cell here. Let's send... Tufson out there, because she's really good at it. Do you have... I want to make sure you have the laser pistol. So let's build another one. Let's just build a couple so we know we have enough. Five, so that's one for everybody. That includes if we don't bring a heavy, so... Okay, let's do this. Oh, there, now you just rock it automatically. Good for you. All right, send operative. operative deployed against exalt position in India. It's interesting that even though we know there's nothing here, there's still an exalt cell, but we know that's not where the headquarters is. But going there, we should get another clue uh, that tells us, that narrows it down a bit. So that's cool. Now let's go here for money. Boom, boom. You can sit you because, well, I think it's better to get other people in here right now. There's carapace armor, laser rifle, laser pistol, and med kits. Let's make items available. We got lasers here, Avery. Do we need another support? I don't know. Wait, why is Tufts in here? Maybe she doesn't leave until, like, the next day. Is that the situation? Oh, I put Ragery in. Oh, damn it. Oh, well, I'm sure she'll do fine. <laughs> Jesus. I'm sure she'll do fine. Let's, uh, let's bring another assault out. One of our lower level assaults, Tarmissa. Make items available. Laser rifle, carapace, laser pistol, and hmm. Scope. Why not? Zhang, sure, you can come. And let's bring out. EJ's already out here. We could work on another heavy, or we could work on our other assault as well. We have three pretty decent heavies, though. Let's keep working with, uh, with Loken. Let's do that, because he has the, um, snapshot. 
that I have to get used to. So I think this is a pretty good loadout. Except that he needs a uh, scope. And you can use the exalt sniper rifle, carapace armor, laser pistol. Alright, now everybody is actually set. So we're gonna need two episode or two missions in an episode today because they're smaller missions, so. Prepare for deployment. We'll be deploying to Russia for this one. Okay. The aliens are continuing to target civilians for abduction and I'm noticing the meld is becoming less, um... The ease of which you can obtain meld is not as high as it used to be. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Okay, this is an old map and has me nervous. I think what I'm going to do is work through this side. That's affirmative. Eat you! Moving out. Bien, commodore. Estoy en marcha. All right, everybody. I really wish I didn't send a uh, Ragery on that covert op. I'm on the move. Jesus. We're going to find something soon, aren't we? Hello. Okay, what the hell? I don't think I've seen that before. That must be one of those new things. Oh, I can't get rockets in there. And I don't know exactly where it is. And see, now, we, now that we don't have Ragery... Puts us in a scary spot. Can I get a little closer without triggering Overwatch? This could be bad. Holy moly, that thing is huge. And we are sitting out here in no cover. Oh, just not doing any damage to it. This thing is huge. I think I called the previous things a sectopod, but this is a sectopod. I heard a lot about this in the previews. Oh, I missed my mark. And the other thing that I was talking about was the cyber disc. Okay, well, it looks like it moved twice, so I'm hoping that that's all it does. Jesus. Someone's gonna take a punch to the face here, I think. Ah! Oh god, the sectopod probably blocked it. <laughs> Jeez. Now this would be cool if I had the punching thing, but I don't. We do do more damage against robotic enemies with Zhang, though. But I would like to get us positioned to deal with these sectoids also. Is this thing only melee? Maybe that's why. No, because he overwatched. That wouldn't make sense. We have some vision in the back here with Tarmissa. But... We've got the other alien right here that I really want to focus on. That I might actually use Zhang's rocket for. Because if I go here... Let's see. I could go here, kill that alien. 
Not have to worry about the other one. And the meld is still safe. I think that's what I'm going to do first. Ready for the fireworks? There we go. Now we can probably whittle this guy down pretty pretty well. It'd be good to pick up the kill with EJ, that's for sure. But I want to make sure that our chances are really good. Now what I think I'll do is go to the sniper. Bring out the pistol. It's up to five, so... Shouldn't kill it. And now hopefully... EJ can get the kill. Nice. Ho, ho, ho. Whoa. Okay, note to self. Don't get too close to that thing. I'd say that deserves a promotion. Oh, we're not going to get to that meld. Come on. That sucks. Okay, well, let's try our best. See, even the game's mad that we didn't get to the meld. I just got the XCOM failed to keep working message. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're back. Anyways, let's, um... Uh, jeez. Well, let's move in. Okay. Okay. I see. Ooh. Oh, I don't like that, because now I'm way out of position. Can your rocket reach that? No. No. It can't. Oh, it can reach one of them. That's not really worth it, though. Aye, aye, Commander. What we do need is everybody to be in cover. Do. These aren't great shots from here, that's for sure. If I go here, I'm probably blocked from that guy. Been by Commander. And maybe what I do is I blow up their cover. I'd like to get both. Maybe I can't blow the... I can blow up the... Looks like I can blow up the uh, cash register. But not both. Well, let's hit the one in the back. Oh, Jesus. Oh, they're not spotted. Vigilad los blancos. Okay, let's take the critical. Come on, hit him. Lower. No. <laughs> Uh-oh. We are in some form of trouble. Let's go on the guy that's out in the open. Now, Tarmissa doesn't have any defensive bonuses right now, so I'm going to pull her back with the Overwatch so I can still shoot and hopefully get rid of this one. Nice. Oh, 82 on the guy in the back. Come on, Biebs. Yes. And Zhang, well... Um... I mean, if we make it to next turn, at least you'll have some shots. I could just take the low percentage here, or hunker down. Let's do that. Just in the off chance. Oh. See, that must be that upgrade that we gave him. Oh, shit. Did we just lose... No, we didn't. Well, using a rocket here isn't going to be beneficial. Plus now with his, uh, what is it? 
what is it called? Shock absorbent armor and that ability could make him pretty difficult to kill. What we really need to do is get his weapons upgraded. Hmm, 60% out here. Let's go on this one. Not quite enough, is it? Is it better from in here? How about this one? Yep, yep, yep. Let's switch out to the pistol, though. Conserve that last little bit of ammo. Now, Loken, what I do like is that you have full cover. Or, uh, sorry, you have the snapshot. But I don't have any full cover for you except for here. And that's not going to give me a shot at anyone, unfortunately. Rookie, take the shot. You never know. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, that works. And Zhang. Let's get down here. See if we can't. Ah, it's no better. Where are you going, floater? Oh, that? Okay, that's huge. He's just tanking this. It's amazing! It's too bad that he has no bullets, though. So that's something to consider. 30% or... Moving out. I think what I'm going to do is blow this cover. Give everybody a better chance to kill this guy. Okay, Nikolai. Still only 32%. That's surprising. And 30%. I wonder why it's so low. Good to go. Well, if we don't kill him, we're going to be in a hell of a lot of trouble. So I'm going to come out here, see if I can get the flank. Not quite. But we got to try and kill this guy now. I guess I could flame him. Okay. As kind of a last resort. He should be safe there because of all the the bonuses. Let's just reload here. Ah, that was risky, but... And maybe this will panic him, who knows. Oh, perfect. Okay, we only needed the six. There's still a floater out here, I think. Who's he gonna shoot at? Nobody. I guess maybe the mech is like really intimidating or something. Oh, look at that. There's no way I'm getting that one either. Orders confirmed. On the move. Well, the mech was not forgiving this time. Let us, uh... Actually, if we work this way, we should be okay. On the move. I feel, Commander. Yes, Whoa! Oh, that could have worked out pretty poorly.
Let's get everybody over here. You two. Good copy, moving on target. Looks yeah, like there's not going to be anybody in here, so... I'll handle it. Meanwhile, everything is falling apart around us. Is this the last floater? I feel bad that we didn't get the meld out of this mission. I have a visual on the target. Oh. Ooh. Okay, this could be good for our rookies. <laughs> Let's see. Hanyadi's already got the promotion that he needs. I think we might try to work around for a flank here. And what I what I think I'm going to do as well is next turn I'll spend some time healing our mech. And we'll get Zhang up here as well. We'll put our sniper on this door. Boy. Alright, Loken. You can do this. That looks good from here. Poof! I like it. That'll show them. Uh-oh. Alright, let's heal the wound. Oh. Can I reach? Not yet, but... I can reach eventually. Let's blow up the one that's mine melding. Grenade. Now we have that floater to deal with. Where the hell is he at? In order, We know he's somewhere nearby. We'll overwatch one more time. I imagine he's the last one out here. I'm gonna come in here and heal again. I don't know if the mech dropped below his natural hit points though, so he might be out for a couple of days. But he's regening pretty quick. There we go, found him. 60% or is he close enough to that truck? We're about to find out. No, he's not. Unfortunately. Moving to position. I could run and gun out here. Actually, it's not a bad idea. We don't have great cover to deal with. I could go here, I suppose. But I'd rather just get close and try to end this. Let's do that. I feel we're pretty protected with this armor. 60%. Uh oh. Okay, we got it. Another day. Whew. Another successful operation. That I'm not happy about. On these missions, we should absolutely be getting that meld, but I feel those countdowns were like super aggressive. missions go as well as this one did the aliens don't stand a chance okay so now we have another sniper which isn't bad 
We kind of have a lot of everything, which is really good. We haven't lost a lot of soldiers, surprisingly. <laughs> Knock on wood. Um, but you never know. We did get uh, all limited use items in your inventory receive one extra use. So does that mean four med kits? I believe so. Panic decrease in Russia by two, 200 credits. We will be in touch, Commander. Yeah, see that did throw Germany into the red, but Germany was gonna be in the, or one of them was gonna go to the red anyways, whichever one we ignored. So it's not a huge issue. Um, let's now, let's see. I kind of want to get another mech going now that we have one like fully upgraded. Do we have to? Yeah, we have to augment first. So here's what we're going to do. I wanted a support mech and we could use one of these, I guess. Do their upgrades carry over? I think so. Or do we just take our newest support and put him in, in as a mech? Huh, that's a tough call. That is a really tough call. It would be kind of funny to have a mech as a Bieber. Hmm. You know what? Let's, uh, let's put Walda in. Distortion field. Nearby allies in cover receive plus 10 defense. That is awesome. Like, that's really, really good, I think. Once the required amputations have been completed, the engineering team will begin grafting the cybersuit interfaces onto the volunteer's remaining bone structure. And then, I think what I'm also going to do is, uh... Since they go in for three days at a time... I'm gonna go here for the sniper, depth perception. It's gonna take three days, but it's okay. the candidate for surgery immediately. I will notify you when the genetic modification process is completed. I think on Zhang, what we'll do is we'll take any, uh, plus 10 aim on any shot after a miss. Thank you, Commander. I'll have the volunteer prepped and ready for surgery shortly. I'll send word when the procedure is complete. And where are we here? Workshop coming in two days. That's okay. Here's alien containment. Alien containment facility online. Okay, that's really good. And then... Did we get to the workshop? No, we're close, though. Additional workshop online. The new engineers Beautiful. arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Now we can build the uplink, which takes just enough power. And we have the thermo generator coming in seven days, and then we can get our foundry going. We can get some more science labs. Uh, I'm happy with this. I am overall pretty happy with the way this is going. Improving soldiers' optic adjustment speed will allow them to compensate much faster when they miss shots. That's cool. Better depth perception and visual processing will allow our soldiers to take greater advantage of elevated firing positions. Which is where we want our snipers to be anyways. So that's sweet. I'll probably, like, I don't see why I wouldn't augment everybody. I don't think there's a reason to not do that. Okay, so now we can give her a mech suit. And we are going to go with the kinetic strike, I think. New mech is ready for deployment. Go to the barracks, select a mech trooper. Okay. Alright, let's throw you into the mech suit. The strike module is a powerful yet precise weapon. It can provide a decisive advantage in close quarters and remove the benefit of cover from our enemies. Oh, so it smashes what's around them too. 
I like that. And it does carry over, so we get all of these upgrades up to their same level. Okay. Shots from Overwatch no longer suffer aim. I like that. Yeah, definitely going to take that. Two bonus damage against targets that have been autopsied. Mech takes damage. All further damage will be reduced by two for the next two turns. Hmm. We're going to be doing a lot of autopsies very soon, so let's take that. And then... I still don't see the huge benefit in taking one for all. It's I kind of want to try it just to try it, but I just don't think it's that good. It's very infrequent where I would need that. I'm going to go jet boots. All right. That is awesome. Look at her. Let's change this up a little bit. I love that it's like black and white. Let's do that one. So cool. Okay, we got a couple mechs, a bunch of gene mods going. Now, as soon as our as soon as we can launch a satellite, we're gonna be in a good spot. Covert operating in three days. Here it is. Operative ready. Covert operative ready for extraction. Let's go. Okay. Operation Frozen Spark. Data recovery. So this is similar to like it's the protection one again. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. All right, let's bring out our new gene modded sniper. We'll sit Hunyadi. We'll sit Bloodfest. I think what we'll do is bring out our other mech trooper. So we'll bring two mech troopers. And. Tufson can come. Let's make items available. And scope. She's now at 105 aim. That's huge. Zhang. Oh, look at you, pal. You got the big guns. That looks good there. We're going to go carapace, exalt, exalt, and... Frags, sure. I think I might even bring... Hmm. I kind of want to bring another Assault, but we don't have any that are like... I, I really didn't want to send our one Exalt on that mission a while ago, but I did by accident. So... This is kind of a tough call. Explosives, I think, is going to be the way to go. I want to kill them with their own weapons. That's my intent here, in case you're wondering. And... I don't know if... Well, she has longer range now with that kinetic strike, so... That'll be interesting. We do have a support, which I think we're going to keep. Because of the healing abilities. So this is going to be our squad when we head out on our next mission. Lots of explosives, we've got some finesse, we've got some support, and then we've got our big mech troopers here. Uh, we'll see how that works. But, should be fun. Alright, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.